Indonesia, a tropical paradise, and home to many of nature's creatures, is located along the world's deadliest ring of fire. It is where a third of the Earth's active volcanoes are located, famous for their extraordinary explosions that change the planet, such as the Tambora volcano, Rinjani, Krakatau, and the oldest and largest, which is located on Sumatra Island, Toba volcano. This is the story of the forgotten volcano. Its aftermath created the largest volcanic lake in the world, the one we know as Lake Toba. Seventy-four thousand years ago, Toba erupted so suddenly and massively that it was the largest volcanic eruption of the past two million years. Bursting and spreading deadly volcanic materials over a 2,800 kilometer radius, Toba is without a doubt considered to be a super volcano. The explosive force of the Toba supervolcano was a hundred times more powerful than that of the Tambora volcano in 1815 and Rinjani in 1257. It was also a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which ended the Second World War. The supervolcano kept erupting for a whole week. Most of the central areas in Sumatra Island were torn to the ground. More than two trillion tons of volcanic ashes were scattered around the western part of the island, reaching the Malayan Peninsula, Indochina and Madhya Pradesh, India. During the eruption, the Toba supervolcano released sulfuric acid gases into the air, resulting in global climate change. These harmful gases spread into the atmosphere over a long period of time. The gases eventually became trapped in the stratosphere, stopping the sunlight. This caused the Earth's temperature to drop and alter the global climate drastically. Meanwhile, the other side of the Earth suffered from a volcanic winter. Ten years with no summer. Toba's volcanic ash also caused immense environmental damage. People ran out of food and crops were destroyed leading to mass starvation, human deaths, and the extinction of animals and plants. A sign of life was discovered under a pile of Toba's volcanic ash in Madhya Pradesh, India. It showed how humans could survive after the eruption 74,000 years ago. The eruption wiped out more than half of the Earth's population.
only a few thousand humans remained. Most of the people who survived migrated to other parts of the planet. Looking for food and shelter in their new home. The landscape doesn't even look like it was a volcano. When the eruption happened, Toba released large amounts of material that left the magma chambers empty before they could be refilled again naturally over a long period of time. Because of this, the roof of Toba's magma chamber collapsed, creating the enormous crater. Most of what's left of the Toba supervolcano was stacked under its own 500 meter pyroclastic sediment, which became a habitable highland in Sumatra. As time goes by, the crater was filled by rainwater until it became what we know as Lake Toba. Beneath the lake, the magma underwent its natural process of recovery in reaching a new equilibrium. The force from the magma chamber caused the bottom of Lake Toba to be lifted to the surface. Furthermore, the bottom of the lake emerged above the surface and formed a new island. An island on top of another. The Summersea Island. Nature's new equilibrium after the supervolcano's eruption of 74,000 years ago persists and thrives. In the span of tens of thousands of years, new life was created. New species of flora and fauna emerged. And then the humans came. After one of the Earth's most catastrophic events, Lake Toba is now the scene of peace and beauty for today's generations to enjoy and treasure. <laughs>